This is Flask and Five. It's Python Flask and Five. Bag. That is a tongue twister. What is Flask? Basically, someone didn't want to learn JavaScript and they were like, I know Python. I'm never touching JavaScript. Python can now do websites. Welcome to Flask. Right. For each website and page you have, you need a little at root thing here. OK, let's play this first file. All these files, these five lessons are on GitHub. Look, Flask is working properly. It made a web page. And that was Python that just made that web page. Now, <laughs> what's going to happen sometimes is your port is going to be wrong. So if the, if it's forever loading, just change that to like 5002, 6007, pick one. All right. Um, sometimes this thing blocking that port. That's that one. That's Flask. Look, all I did was I imported Flask. That just says that Flask is the main program. And uh, this is the, the good to the operation. And here's where I wanted to play. OK, so this is really all the Flask that we did make a home page. That means your root, so forward slash nothing. If I had page two, you know, that would be page two, but it wasn't, it was page nothing. So defaults to, to that, right? Next thing, I'm gonna do um, lesson two. So uh, this one here is actually going to go to an index.html. Okay, so when I run this one here, um, it's gonna open up and I've gone to ChatGPT and just got like a random, I said, make me a disco website, and it made me this one, All right? It's on index HTML. There's nothing special about it. It could just be a blank page, but I didn't want to do a blank page, right? I, I didn't code this. It was touchy pretty. So, um, but look, I went forward slash, and this time I did two differences. One, I said render template, and two, this time I actually send it to H index to HTML. That's why I had all that cool stuff. I couldn't have put all that HTML in, in that one line from the last tutorial, right? So um, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. That's all the same. This is all the same. This is all the same. You know, very, very chain, small difference. Watch out though. Watch out. This is massive, right? You can't just put your index here. You have to go templates. It must be called templates, a folder called templates. And then your index goes in there. That's your home page. Page one, page two, page three. All of that goes in here. All right. Um, your CSS and that kind of stuff. You, like, yeah, you can put it in there or you can put it in static. Uh, a separate folder if you want to have the same CSS for all of them. I put the CSS and, and everything else, JavaScript, in there. Well, as in the one I got from ChatGPT. Right, cool. That's the second one done. How are we doing for time? We're almost there. <laughs> all right, next thing uh, is we're going to do page three. Page three is when it gets really interesting because we're going to send some variables to the website. So this time, check it out. Um, the difference is uh, I've defined two variables and I've sent them over to uh, to the to website. So I've said pizza equals pizza. So you're taking the Python pizza and you're renaming it HTML pizza. I know. I wish there was a way. Well, there is a there is a way of not doing this, but it's only for cool people. You'll have to check that folder. Okay. So um, I'm just going to say healthy is health. Whatever you want to. It doesn't matter. Like if I wanted another one called Jojo equals 23. I don't know what Jojo is, but I would just go here. I would say jojo is equal to jojo i mean i can rename it my html and then how do i use that well is symbols it's so symbols look you open up your html i'm gonna open this in notepad plus plus and whatever you want to use that to pull in a variable from python you just go double brackets see look double brackets dirty double curly brackets double brackets dirty co uh, curly brackets that's it and then you just put in the, the name of your variable right i mean i didn't change the name of it so it's just still the same as health right so if i run this program here i can now happily see that my variables have popped in here and it says welcome to the disco see diablo there's my variable and 10. i just got my variables from python to pop into html isn't that so cool all right and then um, let me show you that with, with, uh, do I have time? Ooh, I don't have time to, I don't have time for cool people. Sorry. You're going to go back for, at the end to, to see that if you want, um, fast with two pages, it's the exact same, but just look in templates. I've got one here, one there. I open up flask. Um, this time I've got at boring as well as at my homepage. Okay. I've got some more ones. I've got some boring variables and I pick one at random and I, play it to the screen. Okay, you can see here now, look, there's my home page, but a boring page, people who have no opinions are boring. Reports, gray trousers, and you can keep refreshing them. There you go. All right. Yeah, survey. Why? Like, never send a survey with more than three, 
three, three questions. And lastly, the very last program is, how do you send it back? Okay, um, well, you wanna send it back, believe it or not, to have a button on the web page that sends something back, it's the exact same. It's, it's just you just go at button clicked, and that's what you put in your HTML. Okay. Um, oh, I've gone over five minutes, right? So, ah, uh, ah, well, <laughs> there you go, and I can click it back, and you see there's a there's a a, a button in my HTML code. I'll look at my HTML code. Yeah. And um, look, there you go. It's it's sending this stuff back via the button okay so see hash see forward slash button clicked yeah yeah that's what's in my python so when i do this button it triggers the function in my python okay uh and there you go so it's it's not so bad it's not so bad do you have time for cool people i don't have your time for cool people okay go on i'll, I'll just whisper this bit because it is pretty cool so remember i said you have to go health equals health blah 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 blah, blah. there is a thing you can do just you can just send all local variables in in your function just all at once to that HTML page by just going star star locals like that and see and now I've got well I should never use them but there's there's a lot of them there okay I could use any of those now just by using double curly brackets and putting that this word in HTML between double curly brackets all right okay so maybe you know, if you have a lot of variables. Cool. So that is totally it. And that is what's done. Unless, unless you want to do. I'm just going to show you this very quickly. You're never supposed to do this. But if you do star star globals, every single variable you declare in your Python program, you can pull into your HTML page in that double. Uh, it's called J I N G. G -ad? It was Ninja 2. Anyway, there's some kind of word for much. Ninja 2? I don't know. Curly bracket, curly bracket. Maybe that's why there's two, because there's two brackets. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's it. So you're not supposed to do that because, um, oh, leaving straight theory question, why do you never use globals? Because I'm working for Google or Meta or Facebook, and I make a variable called, oh, no one's ever going to use this one, count, or like time. Time equals two. Where on the billions of lines of co of the Facebook's code, the Facebook's code base, some other developer is going to have a, 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 a variable called time. And now I've set their variable in Chicago to two. Well, that was a bad idea. And Facebook is now broken for everybody. OK, so that's why you are never supposed to do this. But like, it's, only, it's your program. Like, you can do what you want. It's a free world. You I'm not going to stop you. So there you go. You go mad. Global. Star, star, global.